44, 29, well. Yes! Kyle Smith from Oporn. What an absolute weapon. How's it going, Kyle? Oh, tough morning. Spicy VO2 efforts. My first one's back since being sick and it blew out my lungs to pieces. Felt like I had asthma. And now I'm just dying a slow death floating around in this pool. Life's not too bad, actually. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, Carl, what have you been up to since your hometown win at Taupo 70.3? I got sick after winning the race and then yeah kind of crescendoed with getting a really bad fever and COVID on boxing day yeah so it's kind of like back to square one really but i think i'm quite fortunate that i get fit pretty quickly and so yeah sort of just back into training now and yeah refocusing till the next one while i was sick i just sort of occupied my time with doing stuff that wasn't too strenuous really uh so yeah playing a lot of golf down at the local kinlock club yeah and then going out on the boat when it's been nice learning water skiing i'm still <laughs> pretty terrible at water skiing how was that oh i got up for the first time ever fucking stoked giggity Giggity, giggity, giggity. And then yeah, just sort of doing all sorts of odd jobs and yeah, just fun stuff. Mountain biking, some sort of like small open water swims. Just sort of doing a, a few fun things whilst I sort of, yeah, couldn't really train properly. But yeah, back into the swing of things now. What does a typical training day in the life of Carl Smith back at training look like? Well, with some of Kira's fancy editing, you can actually come and see what a day in my life looks like getting back into training after having COVID and golf. First full day back training. So just about to jump in the pool and get yeah, three and a half K done, just easing my way back into it. I'm still feeling a bit rubbish, still feeling a bit like a slug coming back, but yeah, just the process of getting back into it really. So you got the squad here. Got a small squad here. Just swimming with Hannah Howe. Yo! Yo! To be honest, yeah, I think uh, just trying not to get my ass kicked really. I always come back to training so slow. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. What's your set actually? 500, two 400s, three 300s, four 200s, five 100s. All right, I lost count, but that's three and a half. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How was that? Lovely? Yeah, it was alright. It was pretty awful. Die a slow death, really. That was alright. It was better than expected. So. Woo! Oh. Wait, so you had COVID the whole yeah, time? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, I feel a bit better now. Crazy how you were so uber fit and just like smoked your run and then like a week after you like just sleeping. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like, three days. We call it the supernova. You burn real bright and then you whoa, right. black hole. Today, Kyle. Uh, falafel. Training wise. Uh, um, a half an hour run. Yeah. Maybe some golf. Yeah. We'll see how the schedule plays out. Yeah. Just getting the body back moving gently this week and then next week it'll be an easy week as well, but just a little bit more structured. And then maybe if I'm feeling fine, if I don't have any sort of like negative symptoms or whatever and I'll probably do some efforts the week after but you know, no rush really. Coming back from COVID you've got to be really careful because otherwise you can do like you know more damage than good. Take it easier than what you think I think. Whoa what's that? This is a workhorse. Keeping this 
response is happy though, you know? Oh yeah. Perfect <laughs> fish, eh? Alrighty. Deep deep, let's go. Oh Jesus Christ. Come on, Tiger Woods. Yeah, so I've been playing heaps of golf since the race. What was that, like three weeks ago, a bit more? Because obviously got sick and then, I don't know, I just can't sit still. And so I think doing something that I'm new to, learning a new skill and getting outdoors in the sun, walking about a bit is actually, it's quite nice. It's actually been quite good for my, I guess my mental health, just to keep doing something when I can't train. So yeah, it's been good. And when you're in a place like this, I mean, you know, join the club and then you just come and play as many rounds as you want. Bargain. In New Zealand, it's not like the rest of the world. It's kind of a bit like chill. Like you can just bring your beers and not that I bring beers, but like, <laughs> you can bring your precision hydration. I can bring my electrolytes and carb mix <laughs> and gels and have a good round, you know. All right then, let's go play some golf. I'll put you in the driver's seat. Don't go to hurry. Have you got any tips for your triathlon viewers on how to play golf? Don't be shit. Like me. <laughs> Are you joking me right now? I, sand is so hard here. <laughs> Just got it out. <gasps> <laughs> Wow. Oh, Kyle. Wow. I'm glad my career doesn't depend on it. About 45 minutes. We're in Kenlock. See how this goes. Just an easy jog. Round out the day. Go for a dip. Yeah, I feel pretty good actually. Yeah. Obviously, like we need to take three weeks off. I need it like feel a bit unfit. For the first couple of weeks, but I don't feel completely awful, which is good. Back to running four minute K's. Happy days. done 8k 419 per k nice um didn't feel too bad actually i think like another you know keep it a bit steady over the weekend and then hopefully by next week i'll be able to sort of pick it up again time to get for this one let's just have a chill night tonight eh you feel a bit tired yeah a good tired but yeah tired nonetheless quick dip a lot of mental energy isn't it hitting yeah. those golf balls yeah So that's what a typical day in my life looks like at the moment, just easing back into training. Obviously I want to hit it with full force, got some race plans coming up, uh, but coming back from an illness like COVID, just have to take it easy. So that was what a typical day looks like. It's not all 30 hour weeks and, and whatnot. It's sometimes it's just a, you know, a swim and a run and a round of golf really. My next race will be Challenge Wanaka, which I think is on the 20th of February from memory. I'm not quite sure after Challenge Wanaka, some dates of races still haven't been released but I'm going to be prepared for whatever race is sort of on the horizon. Outside of the racetrack and outside of training we're trying to keep you guys in the loop with what's happening
doing everything training and racing wise. So our plan is to bring you guys one video a month. And so please let us know down below what you guys would like to see from our videos. And for that, this video is over. Thank you so much for watching. And if you could like and subscribe, that'd be hugely appreciated. Bye.